Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and this is the quick look at the coveted two-piece combo mask um, and why I bought it, what I th think about it, and what made me go down that route. I'll also kind of talk about my other masks at the same time. But before that, please check out the link in the description to Pure Hockey and Pure Goalie. If you are looking for anything hockey related, please click the link in the description to Pure Hockey and Pure Goalie. If you make a purchase after clicking that link, I get a kickback, so help support this channel so I can keep doing what I'm doing. So I'm going to fully admit, I totally bought into the hype. I saw a picture of Casimir Cascasol's, I think that's how you say it, mask on their Instagram page. Saw it on his YouTube video. I thought it was interesting the way it looked. Decided their covet isn't that far away from my house. So I decided to contact Ron, see if I could go try some stuff on to see what they had. Ended up driving there, going there. Ended up bringing my mask with me. Put this on, I heard it had great vision. Ended up putting it on, noticing a huge difference right away. Just in the, like basically below the face vision. And I liked the fit of it. I liked it was comfortable. I tried on Phoenix Copley's mask, which was also on their Instagram page. And it fit me pretty well for like nothing else. Ron tried on a bunch of different shells because basically what you can do with this is you can get different shells and then he can make this separately. So the cage and like this part goes separately so you can get any shell that fits your head. And then you get the rest of it kind of put on as well. Like this is, you can just, or this is one piece as well. I went with two piece because of the look and because I'm weird. Ron went through a bunch of different molds and different uh, shells. I ended up just going with the one that Copley's was with a little bit different foam padding in it because it felt really comfortable to me compared to everything else. And that's where we're at. Um, obviously I haven't really used this yet because rinks are still kind of closed for me, but I have used it in my basement, which you would have been seeing footage of here. Before I dive into everything here, I'm gonna go over some masks really quick that I have. My original one was this Hakva. Uh, I've had this for a long time. I'm gonna say like six, no, I'm gonna say about eight years now. This was the first mask I bought once I got out of the original Widowmaker. Very heavy, was a tank, worked fine for me. The foam's got all crap in it. So I replaced it with Maltese, but the, shell, the, the mask itself did not fit me at all. You can see how I have like layered Maltese on the side or hopefully that comes off. Um, because that basically, my it, the helmet was like too big for me and I was kind of just trying to attempt to fit it right. It's very heavy, it works well though, it, like it worked for me, but I wanna move on from it. I bought a Protect Sport, Protect Sport, you have to send in a face mold of plaster and you send it in and they build it for you. This one was made uh, September, nine, September of 2017, so that's how long I've had this one for. I'm a huge fan of this mask, it's super comfortable, it's very, or it's pretty stiff as you can see. Not a lot of flex there. It's, uh, this one is made of Kevlar. They don't do, Protect Sport doesn't do a uh, carbon version and not getting into any of that. Huge fan of that mask. Love the cage, the cheater cage on it. I actually have another one of these on order, but I wanted a backup one and that's why I kind of went over to Coveted because this one is kind of, I'm gonna sell that one. So we'll get rid of that one for a time being. Um, yeah, like I said, really like this mask. I haven't done a review on this mask, even though people have asked, just because their wait time is so long on this that it's like not really worth it in my eyes because it's not something you can just buy and pick up. Maybe I will if enough people ask for it, but I mean, it, it's comfortable and it works for me. But anyways, moving on from this, um, I love it. Have no problems really with sight lines or anything with that. I'm very comfortable in it. It's protecting me well. I saw this though and wanted to try it and really liked it when I put it on and really liked the extra visibility, so I did that. So what comes with the mask? Um, one, I went to, I could go to their factory and actually talk to Ron and try stuff on. Obviously, if you're not around, you uh, can't do that. I'm not really gonna talk about whatever their guarantees and stuff like that is, because I'm not going into the whole, like whatever their selling spiel is. I'm just talking about the gear and like why I bought it. You get this mask bag which is always nice it's just a vented mask bag i don't really i haven't used a mask bag in the past when i'm actually playing games but i guess i will now for this um so you get parts bag which is screws i think there's extra straps in here i honestly haven't even looked at this because uh you get their sorry their card their business card i haven't looked at this just because it hasn't really concerned me at all extra clips which is always nice extra screws also very nice and there's some stickers in there too, or a sticker in there too. And there's a, some sort of note in there. All right, so inside there is this note in here which has, uh, like, thank you for purchasing, and then it has 
warranty instructions, and then pictures of their different masks themselves. I can't remember which one this one is based off of. Um, I'm sure he could tell me, but yeah, I don't remember exactly which model it's based off for the actual shell. I think it's that one, but, or my, anyways, I don't really care. That was in the bag. Um, so that's kind of cool. I like, and, oh, and a little extra foam for attachment as well, which is nice. In case I guess you need to make any modifications. Um, I, you don't get this in there. I bought a second cage just because I get, my cages get dented all the time. Like I bought this cage and then the very next game, you can kind of see the mark right there in the tent right there. The very next time on the ice that got dented on like the fourth shot. So I always dent cages. So I just bought an extra cage just like that because I knew I'll need one in the future. Went with stainless just because I think this is going to be my duck's mask. So silver kind of works with that. Um, get parts in there too. Interesting thing about these cages is Coveted has their own manufacturer for these cages. So they're kind of made in house. They're not made in the factory, but instead of going to the outside company like Protex Sport does, they have their own for this design specifically. So that's kind of cool. Um, so this helmet itself, I guess I'll kind of show this. So you get this normal terry cloth. They have different colors you can use. Um, I'm going to use this one for a bit, see how it is. I love the bamboo sweatband cloth. So I might switch to that because I sweat a lot. And so we'll see what happens there if I need that. It's the inside of the helmet. Actually, I'm going to go to the back plate first just because. Interesting thing with this design is that the back plate connects differently. So you actually have your attachment pieces right here instead of on the side of the helmet itself because they those straps attach down at the chin here. So you can't really undo those. So you have to undo it at the back. My one complaint about that though, because of the way the strap goes through this piece, it doesn't really loosen up that much. So you kind of have to stretch the, the mask over your head. I don't really like that because it stretches straps, but kind of have to do it in this case, which is slightly disappointing. Uh, back plate is, isn't like a cheap piece of plastic. So it's really stiff. I think this is fiberglass. Um, but yeah, pretty nice, stiff, feels nice. I got matte. So if you're wondering the color difference, you can maybe see the shine, uh, matte versus a gloss. Again, different paint options you can do. I just went with a matte because I want something slightly different. On the inside here, you can see with the foams and with the back plate taken off, back plate sits kind of in there. So it's a little bit smaller than some of the other companies, but pretty similar to what my Protex board is. Um, the foam on this is super soft. It's like, a, I don't know exactly what foam it is, but it is super soft to the touch. It's very comfortable from what I've had so far. Um, it's even softer, I would say, than my Protex Sport, which is pretty amazing because the Protex Sport one's really soft too. But I'm not gonna comment on per quality of foams or protection or anything like that. I think there's too much to go into masks to do that and I'm not an expert enough. So all I'm gonna talk about is why I bought it and kind of like the process of me buying it basically. So when I put Copley's mask on, one of the things I found with my head, which was interesting, is that when I could push down on the top and the helmet would basically go like this. So I have a weird shaped head. So what Ron had to do was add, you can see an extra layer of foam put right in here. And that just like basically wraps around my head a little bit better. So it hits the top of my head. That way when I push down on the top, it doesn't move anywhere. My head sits on it. His measurement was basically spot on. And this, when I put it on, fits my head really well. And that's like a really good, it just fits well and there's no movement at all in that. So I'm pretty happy with that. So the big reason I bought this mask was because of, well, I heard about the visibility being better on this compared to other ones. Um, so I went to the factory, tried it on, and basically I said to myself, okay, if I notice anything different, and if I'm kind of impressed with this, I'm gonna buy it. All right, so I put it on and I'm like, okay, this is a mask, didn't really notice much. It felt very airy inside of it. So then I put my Protex board on and I immediately noticed a difference specifically down here and on the sides. So even though the Protex Sport is still very open and like I can see fine out of it normally and I never really had any issues, when I put this thing on, just the window is so much bigger and or it just feels that much bigger, you can hopefully kind of see a difference there. And specifically like below and to the sides. So when you're in this thing, you basically don't see any shell at all, including down here. It's just all openness and you feel a bit closer to the cage too. You're not necessarily that much closer because my nose still can touch this Protex board if I push it forward a little bit. Same thing here where you can still kind of touch it forward just a little bit. Not a big deal. Like 
I have a massive nose, so that's why that's kind of a thing, but it, it kind of shows that my face isn't that much forward, but with just how open this is, you can really see all over, and it's really impressive to me. So hopefully this kind of comes off on camera. I find it kind of hard to do, because you can't really get the whole view of like what you can see, and I can't wide angle lens it that well, and I tried with the camera, but this is basically the best I can do. But you, you just get more vision out of, and it's like more of a bigger window out of the two-piece design than what you do out of the normal, like a normal design. That's why I went with this. I'm pretty impressed with this mask. It's not the lightest mask. Like my Protex Sport is lighter. I can, when you pick it up, you can just feel that it's lighter. Mm -hmm. But with that said, there is a lot of cage here. So the metal weighs more than the actual shell itself. And I went with that option because I wanted to try this style. But I'm, I was impressed enough that I, I basically, right then when I, when I met Ron, I ended up buying it. And now I'm gonna wear it. The one thing that he did specifically for this mask, and he asked if I'd be wearing a dangler, is he extended this piece a little bit because he thought my neck was a little bit exposed when I tried on the Copley one. So this part is a little bit more extended than other people. So you can get some changes like that. I will be wearing a dangler with this. I just have to figure out how. Um, and I don't have one right now. I need to buy a new one because the iTech one's cracked. So I'll be putting one of these down on there. Um, you can see in the gameplay footage, there is a bit of a gap. My chest seems to cover most of it, but I want that gap just extra covered. And as I think if I can get the dangler low enough, like on this, it shouldn't affect my visibility down either because you still have that bigger window. And this doesn't really float up. As you can see, it stays pretty down there and it doesn't move all that much. So if I can get that same way going with this, I should be good. So that's it for this very quick look. Well, so that's it for this look of the coveted two-piece combo mask. Um, again, no, no comments on, on protection or anything like that. I'm not gonna get into that for goalie mask. I don't know enough about it. Um, just of why reason why I bought it, why I went with it, and kind of you'll see me wearing it in the future and I'll talk about if I have like any issues or anything like that going forward and just what I think of it. More unless more or less on the two piece combo idea. But yeah, so we'll do that in the future once I can actually get back on the ice if that's ever gonna happen. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to YouTube, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, links are in the description. If you ever do buy a piece of gear because of one of these videos, please reach out to the manufacturer, let them know. Helps me get on the radar so hopefully I can get gear to use and make more content on. I bought this myself, so came out of my pocket to do this, which is okay, but I'm just making that really clear. If you are gonna buy goalie gear or goalie or any type of hockey equipment, please check out the link in the description to Pure Hockey or Pure Goalie. Doing so, clicking that link and making a purchase will give me a kickback to help support the channel and help me fund continuing to do what I'm doing. So thank you very much for watching and take it easy. You're watching HockeyReviews.ca